Hello again, it's the weekend. It's still reasonably nice, although a little bit cold, but so we're gonna be outside, getting into the spirit of Christmas, even though it's a month away, but uh, we're gonna go pick up our uh, Christmas tree this afternoon. So in any case, uh, we're having a little bit of wine today again. This is a Domaine Jamais uh, Côte du Rhône 2017. Now, Jamais is really a Northern Rhone producer mostly famous for his Cote Rôti. He's got two or three uh, Cote Rôti uh, uh, cuvées, the most famous of which is a Cote, uh, Cote Rôti Cote uh, Brune. So he's got a parcel in the Cote Brune that it's exclusive, you know, uh, uh, sort of a single parcel thing, although he's not, he doesn't own the whole parcel. I think other people make uh, wine from the Cote Brune, as you know, there's Rostin, uh, there's uh, uh, Chamberin, uh, there's uh, other people as well. Uh, 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 Gigal has a part of it as well. But any, in any way, this is uh, his, Côte Rôti, his uh, sorry, Côte du Rhône. And his Côte du Rhône is interesting because it's really northern wine, so it's not from the south. It's uh, near Ampuy, which is the capital of Côte Rôti. And it's on the hills in areas that are technically not pa part of the uh, Côte Rôti. But they're pretty close. So it's 100% Syrah from these uh, vineyards, you know, 15, 20, 30 year old uh, vines. It's uh, just, you know, basically very, very close to what a good Cote Rôti would be, but it cannot be called Cote Rôti. It's a third of the price. And they're distant as opposed to his uh, Cote Rôti that are a full cluster, whole cluster. And it's aged for a year in a in uh, used uh, oak uh, oak barrels. This is 2017, I think it's a bit young, but I really wanted to, I have a few other bottles, I really wanted to try it, I heard so much about it, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I opened this yesterday, uh, but uh, uh, as, as you know, often I like the wine uh, even better the next day. And the nose is still pretty closed, and I think it's part of the youth of the wine, but, <clears throat> Over time, you do get, uh, I mean, initially, you get a lot of funkiness from the sort of uh, underbrush and the mushroomy type of earth, but it kind of evolves, you know, in the glass. And at the end, you get more of a, you get a flowery, which is very interesting. I guess Syrah can be like this, but it's a flowery, almost rose petal scent that's really interesting and, and uh, over over comes overpowers if you want any fruit you might at least to my nose that you might want to uh, 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 sense in there i don't get any of the pepper the the dark you know the black pepper and green peppercorn you would get normally in the northern uh, syrah but a little bit of the sort of anisette licorice anise uh, licorice just a tiny hint of that which is typical of the rhone but primarily more the southern rhone i would say I think the pepper is starting to come out now. There's really more, a lot more aeration. This has been sitting in the glass for half an hour and I felt it was needed before we even look at it uh, together. Now the, it's kind of a perfumed peppercorn smell, which is sometimes you get these scented peppercorns, you know, for your kitchen. And I think you get a little bit of that, which is the mix of the flour and the peppercorn. And I think it's really, really nice. It's very dark, as you can tell, it's a sort of a dark, Syrah, none of the Southern Rhone, you know, Grenache, kind of redder. This is a little bit more brick. Let's taste it. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Now the, the Syrah is in full swing. With the pepper, the flour, the attack is great, the mouthful is fine, it's just pleasant. The finish is really rosy, I would say. Again, that rose concept, maybe maybe I'm crazy. And so you get that lingering on the back, in the back of your throat, and it's uh, really... It's really... It's really very nice, and it's a um, little bit of that acidity that will give it some aging potential and, and a tannin over time. Um, I'm going to be happy to have it with lunch. Again, as I said, it's better than it was yesterday, which is always interesting with these young wines. 
and for half the price, it's still expensive for a Cote du Rhone, we're talking 40 bucks, but half the price and a reasonable Cote Roti, it's certainly a great uh, value for money. Have a good weekend and uh, we'll see you soon.